Hello, 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 and welcome to the YouTube channel. The journey up until this point has been well over a year now in the making, um, and I can't believe that I'm making this video now and I can finally release this content which I've been sat on for so long. Um, but before I get too ahead, let, let's, just, let's just set the scene. Last summer, I graduated from university with a degree in languages, so a completely non-technical degree. Um, and despite having no technical background, I decided that I wanted to get a job as an ethical hacker, as a penetration tester or security tester, whatever you want to call it. Again, with no technical background, it was just something which I kind of latched onto and for reasons which I'll explain in another video, I just wanted to do it. Although I didn't have a technical background, I did have um, a lot of motivation and I had a flexible online job, which meant that I could study and work uh, and kind of balance that as much or as little as I needed to. What I did on day one is what I've always done. And I picked up a camera and I just started recording. And over the next five months until I got my job, I recorded just about everything that happened. Um, and at the time, I really wasn't sure what my plan with the videos was. Um, I, I didn't know if I was going to release them straight away, if I was ever going to release them, um, but I just wanted to start recording, at least for myself, to be able to look back and see how crazy it is. Um, so in these videos, and it's kind of like, there's now 30 or 40 of them, um, I talk about everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything. I'm talking about like how I broke this, this down into like the, you know, this is a ma massive task. How do you break it down? How do you like, where do you even start? Um, prioritizing certain things, then studying for my first certification, then getting my first certification, then um, like during that kind of process and going, what am I going to do? What am I going to do for my second certification? Um, doing my first ever lab, um, applying for jobs, bug bounties, hack the box, technical assessments, getting a job, you know, and then there's also a decent amount of like, I don't want to really call it motivational, but it is kind of motivational content as to the fact that this is actually possible for other people as well. Um, and it's, it's kind of hoping, I'm hoping that with these videos, I'm going to be able to kind of push some other people to make the same decision and, and show them that it is possible. As I mentioned, at the time of recording these videos, I really did not know if I was ever going to release them. And I can't stress that enough. There is very much an air in these videos of Matthew McConaughey in Interstellar when he's recording his videos for his daughter, not sure if she's ever going to see them. Um, because I was never sure if anyone was going to watch these. I didn't know if I was ever going to want to release them. I just thought it would be an exciting thing to watch back, if nothing else, for myself. Um, and from that moment, from the time that I got the job, actually, that was now nine months ago. Uh, and I haven't picked up a camera since then. Nine months have just been focused head down with work. And throughout that nine months, things have changed. And now things are starting to change a little bit at work in that I'm, I'm starting to be much more comfortable in my team um, to be able to release this content. I didn't want to be the first person on the first day of work coming up with a YouTube channel. It just didn't sit right with me. I'm starting to release more content outside of this. I'm, I'm writing a few blog, to blog posts. Um, and we've got a podcast coming out or uh, by the time this is out, it probably will be out now um, with work. So it felt like the right time to just kind of release this content too. It would not be fair to sit here and make this video without saying thank you to a few people. Um, the community is amazing in InfoSec and it's just blown my mind how uh, community based everything is. My interest in all of this was peaked by and then I was given all of the information to get to where I want by the community, by people like the Cyber Mentor, uh, Namsek, Stuck. Um, Network Chuck, etc. These are the kind of people who I was watching inside of PhD is amazing as well. Um, a v variation of those from like bug bounties and for pen testing, but still, all of that, you know, my interest being peaked in that and then them actually teaching me what I need to know uh, was all community based YouTube, forums, Reddit, etc. And that's one of the reasons I'm going to talk about the reasons why I'm making these videos. I don't know why I feel like I have to justify why I'm putting these videos out there, but I kind of do. Um, but the community side of it has just been amazing. Also, the people who I met at work experience, I'm not gonna name names, but work experience at the various places has just been amazing. And they helped me, they put me in contact with people, they pushed me in the right direction. They told me that it was achievable and um, that was exactly what I needed to hear at that time. Before I let, let loose and just let you go and watch the videos, there's a few things, as I said, I want to justify why I'm making these videos. Number one is I wanted to show people that this is possible. And this was the biggest thing. People seem to be interested in what I do. And when I talk about it, they seem to enjoy it. Um, and they seem to think it's a cool thing and they want to, you know, potentially get into it. But there's a lot of sort of, oh, you know, I, can't, I, don't, I can't do that. I don't have a technical background. 
and I'm kind of like living, breathing proof. Yes, it would be perfect if you have a computer science background. And yes, it would be amazing if you could read and write perfect code in multiple languages. But to get in the door, it's not necessary. It's not like a requirement. And, and actually, at least from my experience, being proactive and showing that you're interested and motivated in your, your learning was the biggest thing that helped me out for sure. Um, so I wanted to show people that that is possible. And what better way I thought than literally picking up a camera when I wasn't even sure if I was gonna be doing it and talking through every emotion, every sort of you know milestone that I go through on this journey and, and just talking th people through that and showing them at the end of it that, you know, it's possible. The second one, is that I've always made videos um, and I love making videos. I've been making videos whether it's longboarding or skiing or doing playing around in After Effects or making uh, videos for my film A Level or uh, making family video, family holiday videos, whatever it is, I've always been making videos and I just love it and I will continue to be making videos regardless of what I do with them. I just love the, the actual act of, of doing them, making them. The third reason, the final reason is that, as I said, the community is everything in this world. Like community is everything in that it's, it's, it's both amazingly big in that it's such a big part of the world that I now live and work in but it's also amazingly small. It's such a few, a short, small handful of people who are creating so much content. And as I was going through this, the more and more people were saying, um, not directly to me, but just in general, they were saying like, you know, you should be creating content. You should be trying to promote other stuff because that's what we do. And that's how you got to where you are. And so you should try and give back. Anyway, I'm gonna stop explaining why I'm doing these videos and I'm just gonna let the videos do the talking. Um, by the time you watch this, uh, the first episode and probably the second episode will be up. They're more focused around how am I gonna tackle this? Um, and then from there, you'll just, I'll release them every couple of days or every week. I don't know how long I'm gonna do it for. But as I said, there's a lot of content. And then maybe with the future, you know, I've my background is in languages and more specifically in teaching. Um, and I love teaching. It's something I miss greatly from working before here. Um, and it's something which I'm treasuring doing a little bit of at work at the moment. So maybe this would be another avenue to maybe do some teaching down the line. I don't know. They're still all up in the air, but for now I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to let the videos do the talking and I will see you all in the next episode or whenever I pick up another camera again. Hopefully it's not going to be nine months time this time, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy it all. Bye.